warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up guys? So we're out checking the ranch. I drove around the perimeter and I seen we have a one coyote. He's KO'd in the fence, so we've gone uh, a full week with at least a coyote a day, so pretty awesome. We're just getting started checking. We're gonna go check the perimeter or the inside and see what we got. So hopefully we got a raccoon or something in here. Maybe a bobcat, it'd be awesome. So stay tuned, we'll see what we got. Oh, I see you dancing. We see dancing, baby. We had, uh, we could see in the snow where Kyle went across here and he did a little bit of digging here and there. So we knew we'd catch one, it's just a matter of time. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to uh, figure out something here. I might have to put another set in. Uh, he kind of destroyed that. I might have to go get a log or something put here for some eye appeal or backing. Beautiful. Well, we'll see. Let's get out. This would be number 36. It's a pretty good looking dog. We are, uh, we are having a good time in Nebraska. Really good looking dog. I just texted Flair because we got one on the fence. I said, man, an eight dogs since Monday. It is now Monday morning. We set Monday, last Monday. And here we are, nine dogs in uh, basically six days of setting, having them out. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to complain about that one bit. We had a dirt hole here. I didn't know. Look at the trap. What we got? Let's see. Looks like Duke 550. Holding strong. He's another timid dog. Real timid. But uh, I guess I should note that currently the Duke 550s are sold out. Uh, it's looking like the end of January they'll be back in stock. So guys, if you if you're looking for 550s, they're they're an awesome trap. And uh, as you can see, I've been catching. I've caught a few on this ranch alone. I just kind of, I don't really have any. I got a bunch of 650s and 550s and I just kind of set out traps. I don't really worry about what trap I got. I just grab it out of the bucket. But these, uh, the 550s, we started going with the 550s here on the ranch because of the trap bed was so hard to pound in and you can put a really small trap bed and you can, you don't have to do as much hammering as you would the 650. So. There, you'll see there's quite a few 550s there towards the end of that very first setting video. So, all right. I know someone's going to say that he's in pain and I shouldn't be talking while he's in the trap, but three minutes ain't going to hurt nothing. So, all right. We'll get him taken care of. Stay tuned, guys. Duke 550. Holding that cat strong. Okay. So we're completely screwed up. We're we're facing downhill, which is completely wrong if you when you figure trapping. Look at that. That's one plus about the ground being hard. 
there's our old dirt hole still still there it's not ruined but I definitely need a log now because we're facing them we're just completely goofy so we'll get our trap bed made here not wearing the waders so I'm gonna get a little dirty that's okay we're gonna offset from the hole just a little bit it doesn't have to be a lot I mean you don't know where that freaking guy is gonna step anyways if you think about it How, if you offset this way what if he steps here you know you just it's still 50 50 but we i always like to offset try to offset this way i don't know why i'm pretty sure i seen somewhere that i know i seen that cats tend to favor stepping one way towards a hole but i don't know there's just so many theories out there we are pretty much gonna find a log somewhere though I really think that me wearing the waders is kind of a scent control. I know we're wearing gloves for mud reasons and, and all that right now, usually when it's cold. I don't worry about scent totally. I feel like me just having my waders on is my scent control. Because they've been everywhere. It's kind of like they've been Pretty much, I go beaver trapping with my waders, so they got swamp smells, you know what I mean? We're gonna put this back a little ways farther than we normally would. We're pretty close, but that log is gonna be changing it a little bit. That's pretty solid, that trap ain't moving at all. That's, I like that, I really like the sand for that purpose. I need to make some more this week while it's nice out. Finish out the season. Probably going to go strong here until the end of February and uh, just get whatever we can get. It could slow down. It could pick up. I mean, we just we caught a coyote yesterday and then we caught two coons. See, I'm trying to keep track now. Two coons the day before. So then I caught a coyote on one of my other trap on my other trap line in my one of my bobcat areas so i mean some days you catch a bunch some days you don't that's just the way it is some, some days i never catch anything for a while and that that day is coming so we're gonna be sitting pretty good for a while on a freezing so we're not too worried about this, but we need to definitely see that color change. We got rid of that color of the sand. That's the only thing that's problem with the sand. If I could find some really dark sand, that'd be awesome. I just want to cover up this little bit right here. Get our bait in the hole. Find a stick of some sort. But I don't worry about the scent that much. You guys will see me hawk a loogie right on my coyote set. <laughs> it just happens. Put some of my all predator bait down in that hole. That's what we had in there. We're just using all predator bait on this whole ranch. We haven't used anything else. And then We'll use some old fuck long call, which will be coming out again this week. I'm just waiting for some supplies to get here. So those of you that have been waiting for that, it will be coming out. And then I got this new coyote lure here that I'm coming out with. Pretty much got her figured out. It's in some of these holes here. I'm gonna need some help making it, figuring out a name for this. So it's gonna be Trapper J's blank coyote lure. 
So I need some help with that. If you guys want to throw some comments down in the description or in the comment section, I'm God, I'm stupid. <laughs> we will we will come up with a name for that. And whoever picks the best name will get a we'll send some to you. But it is uh this is what it looks like. Even when it's cold. It will be coming out next season. I'm trying to secure supplies for that. It's kind of pricey. So. Now this stuff here. It don't take much. Look at that. Just a little dab will do you on that. And we're down in the hole. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to put a... We're going to go find a log real quick. And then we're going to put a log right here. Hopefully find another coyote coming along here. Lots of coyotes. We're just trying to get a... I'd like to pick up a few bobcats. I, I thought at least five to ten bobcats on this property would be pretty awesome to pull. So we will see. We got plenty of time. There's plenty on camera. Did you see that line right there that was kind of a bowl? We want to feather that all out a little bit. This ain't a step down, this is kind of a flat. We it's flat there, so we want it to be blended. As you can see, I KO'd that little dude in a 220. Poor guy, he collateral damage. Right. Moving on, boys, let's go get a log. I've seen them laying all over the place. See if I can find one real quick. I don't know what Flair calls this place. Anybody know? Do you recognize this little plot here? There's a stand there. I don't know what he called this one. Hmm. I know the desert cut, but I don't know this one. Stay, stay tuned. Let's go find a log. Perfect, man. Charred wood. Charred wood is really good backing. I kind of like that big old piece of wood right there, too. I got a rock for backing over there. Sweet. That's pretty awesome. Found a good one. Set that there. And we'll drive back over there on our way back and put it put it there. So let's move on. time beer trapping and whatnot so I'm pretty happy with that all right let's get him get another snare and we'll get it taken care of and as you can see he's pretty much opened it wide open we want to funnel him down to one spot they basically go you can see the tracks I mean they, there's a hell of a trail here the deer jump over and the coyotes go under so a lot of guys ask why I don't just reuse the snares. Well, they're usually toast. I mean, that thing is so twisted up right now. He toast, he's a big boy. Jeez, that might be, 
that's going to be one that needs to be weighed, I think. That's a that's a big guy. He KO'd himself. We got some scat there. If we want to take that scat, we could put it up on that other set. We'll probably do that. Seal this up so they don't jump through. We don't want the coyotes to jump up through here. We want to keep them coming under. Here's our tag, our trap tag. We'll just leave it there. Look how that thing, there's my cable. That thing is freaking. <laughs> here's my, here's where we were going under. We had it right here. And we'll just do the same thing. We'll fence this back in with, I'm gonna have to go get a bunch of cedars. I'll just leave that there and put a new wire. I'm sure I turn it on. Okay, we're good. So we'll just take our new snare and we'll put it right here. We are in Nebraska, as I've said multiple times. We can use snares here. Okay. I'm gonna take this back over here so it kind of blends in with this other mess. We got a lot of wires here that are kind of just chilling. Oop. Maybe, yeah, that'll that'll kind of uh, send it. Well, can't do that. Try that. Oh yeah, that'll work. Got a kind of a weird kink in there already. It doesn't take much to screw up a snare to where it's goofy. You get an oblong loop or something. Look, it's already kind of, kind of goofy. But it just hangs down like the fence did. See, we got fence here. We are just gonna bring some stuff in, put it there. Probably take this and push it down right here. If we can stick it in the ground, that would be awesome. We can a little bit. We got fence here. What I need to do is just go grab some of the rolls of fence that he's got and just put a piece right here, just with a doorway, a perfect doorway. Kind of repair the fence. So we had this over here. We're just gonna stand it back where we had it. See, if we put a piece of fence in here, we would have to do all this remaking. Every time, because uh, they kind of destroy the area a little bit. All right, I gotta go get some more. All right, let's just drop these here. They look like they're just gonna look natural. I mean, all along this fence line, there's cedars, so. <laughs> I don't know exactly how natural it looks, but. It's working, it's what I did last time. There's only so many places to go without hitting a snare, so we're bound to get them. Unless they stay on the ranch. At some point they're gonna slip up. They say you can't fence a coyote. Well, that's pretty well fenced if you ask me. And we just got this one place to go through right here. And that's where he's gonna have to put his neck as he goes under.
blends in pretty well. All right. That was a big dog. Definitely gonna have to go on the scale when we get home. Big old male. He's gotta be he's probably upper 30s, you would think. As big as that guy is. Jeez. I forgot to put my piece of wood in there. Well, it'll be a it'll be a backingless set for the night because I'm I'm already out of that area. Oh dang it. I got so excited about this giant coyote. Look at the belly on that guy. Jeez. That is a bit wow. Compared to this one. That is a big coyote compared to this one. Jesus. Alright guys, well that's another check of the ranch, and that's a pretty good one, huh? I mean, one coyote a day or a few raccoons a day, perfect, perfect. At some point, we're going to have zero on a check, so until that time, we've been catching, and we're going to keep on trying to catch, so stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see what this big boy weighs. I think I can get... Well, I'm going to have to put it up on the... Thing over here. My table's in the way where I usually weigh them, but this is probably work better from now on, anyway. got to be in the 40s unless I'm just a weakling I could be but I've weighed a lot of 34 pounders over the last he's he might be in the 30s uh, I just weighed my dog she's 50 so I don't know if he weighs as much as she does or not what do we got he is just at 40 that's gonna be the biggest one I've weighed, guys, right there, 40 pounds. That's the biggest one I've weighed so far since I've got the scale. So we're gonna call that my biggest dog so far. It's a pretty good sized coyote. Look how wide that guy is. It's a big coyote.